the past three months, the Organic Spies recorded hidden camera footage of 30 employees at 12 Whole Foods stores in Los Angeles, California, to investigate intentional false marketing by Whole Foods. They train employees to tell customers they do not sell genetically engineered foods, even though 20 to 30 percent of their products contain GMOs. It's against our policy to carry anything that's grown GMOs. If, if these have GMOs, I just want to avoid them. Yeah. So. That's my understanding. Okay. If they did, we wouldn't be carrying them. Okay. In 2009, Whole Foods became the first nationally certified organic grocer when they were certified organic by CCOF. This led to deceptive marketing that causes many people to believe everything at Whole Foods is organic and chemical free. Whole Foods heavily advertises this and uses other masterful greenwashing tactics to brand themselves as a local organic retailer so people believe everything in their store is healthy. Whole Foods Market's favorite dishes start with locally grown organic produce. The reality is, 20 to 30 percent of Whole Foods products contain GMO ingredients depending on each store or region. Genetically engineered foods are everywhere, in the salad bar, packaged foods, meats, and dairy products, yet we are not informed of each product because there are hundreds of genetically engineered ingredients. Even the Whole Foods branded vitamin line may contain GMOs. On the Whole Foods website, they instruct people how to avoid GMOs at their stores by buying certified organic products non-GMO Project Seal or Whole Foods 365 brand. No other information is available for people to guarantee they are avoiding GMOs. Whole Foods has mastered the art of bait and switch, advertising local and organic in all of their marketing and PR, getting people into their stores and then selling them lower cost, naturally labeled GMO products that result in higher profit margins for Whole Foods. This bait and switch practice has turned Whole Foods into a financial juggernaut Whole Foods for the year ending September 25, 2011, had $10,107,000,000 in sales. We estimate 2 to $3 billion of that comes from selling products containing GMO ingredients. On November 6, California could become the first state to require labeling of genetically engineered foods. GMO foods are currently labeled in 49 countries, including China, Russia, and the entire European Union. Monsanto, Dow, DuPont, and multinational food companies are fighting to defeat Prop 37 and have spent $32,439,000. The financial supporters of Prop 37 who are demanding GMO labeling and our right to know have spent $3,861,000. All the donations to support Prop 37 are from independent or family-owned or 100% organic businesses and grassroots nonprofits. Not one donation in support of Prop 37 is from a multinational food company or any of their organic brands. These multinational food companies falsely advertise their organic brands as independent value-driven businesses and do not put the logo of the parent company on their products. A nationwide boycott of these organic brands has begun because profits from their sales go to donating millions of dollars to oppose Prop 37. Pepsi, Naked Juice, $1,716,300. Kellogg, Kashi, Bear Naked, Garden Burger, Morning Star Farms, $632,500. Coca Cola, Odwalla, Honest Tea, $1,164,400. Hershey, Dagoba, $395,100. General Mills, Cascadian Farms, Mira Glen, Larabar, $520,000. Smuckers, Santa Cruz Organic, R.W. Nudson, After the Fall, $387,000. Dean Foods, Horizon Organic, White Wave, Silk, $253,000. The main financial supporters of Prop 37 are Dr. Joseph Mercola, $1,100,000. Organic Consumers Fund, $730,000. Nature's Path, $600,000. Dr. Bronner's, $290,000. Lundberg Family Farms, $250,000. The nonprofits leading Prop 37 are labeled GMOs, Organic Consumers Association, and Food Democracy Now. A total of 33 companies have donated to support Prop 37. The most prominent health food company that has not donated any money to Prop 37 is Whole Foods. At Whole Foods Market, we care about our communities.
Does Whole Foods carrying uh, GMO uh, have any products that contain yeah. GMO? Yes, there are products that have it. Okay. Um, products that don't have it, we try to highlight. Okay. But there's really not a full. What, what are products that would have it? It could be anything. Well, if that um, corn by the door is GMO corn? Uh, we can. There's really no way to tell for certain. Do Whole Foods carry any GMOs? Or, it, or do any of their products contain genetically engineered ingredients, do you know? I believe there are some ingredients. Okay. Can you show me a couple so I can yeah, avoid them? Totally. So it's like a basic vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Okay. If you would go on a keyboard check ascorbic acid, ascorbic acid. Oh, wow. One's basically the majority of it, and then the Wow. Unless you know someone that's growing it, it's the amount. So wow. And what, what, that's just all vitamin, vitamin C. C. If I don't buy something that's organically, a or soy product that's organic, like it would be. Most likely to bet, I would bet my money on it. Like you even like so soy milk or something? Yeah. The wheat's are the all the Yeah. Like this place, there's so much food out of this Oh, wow, yeah. there's that much. Wow. Yeah. Do um, any of your guys' products contain any, contain any genetically engineered ingredients um unless they specify that they don't they might because there's no way to regulate it so um, just stick to 365 your brand and organic and i should be safe yes hopefully yes okay thank that, you that, that's what i look for i don't want food that's not food yeah i'm trying to avoid like gmos and stuff Do you, does whole foods carry in? uh no we're not allowed to carry oh you're not allowed to yeah all the uh, pretty much every item we carry, they have to go through like a little process. I don't want to avoid avoid GMOs, so I, I was wondering if there's a list that shows. Well, we don't care. We don't. Okay. Yeah. Anything in here? Okay. Yeah, anything in here? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. We can't carry. It. That's part of our uh, our thing. It's against our policy to carry anything that's grown with GMOs. Oh, so what? I, no, no matter I buy whether whether it's organic or not, it doesn't. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Cool. A lot of stuff's labeled that way too. Okay. A lot of stuff is in non-GMO, so you can count that everything in the stores. Okay. I'm trying to like avoid um, like GMOs and stuff, yeah. and I was wondering, does Whole, whole Foods carry it? Um, well, they have a guideline, a strict guideline that we don't. Um, okay. Sometimes things will slip through the cracks. Okay. The company doesn't clear an item or something. We're really good about catching it. Okay. Um, but our guideline, our buyers on the, on the regional level, will try to they, they research companies and research with facilities. Yeah. Um, and a very strict guideline. I mean, if you find something, give it to my attention, I'll get it off our show. Pepsi owns these guys, and they're um, putting a lot of money in to not getting a label. So does that mean that this has genetically modified ingredients in it? No, uh, nothing because, in our store. Uh, because it, it contains um, soy, and I know that the majority of soy grown in the United States is genetically modified. I guess what we have to do is, um, you know, to be sure of anything, uh, to contact uh, Naked Juice. Okay. And to find out where they're uh, sourcing their soy from. Okay. You know, and there's a chance that it maybe isn't from the United yeah. States. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I just wanted to find out to like avoid it. So. Yeah. From my knowledge, um, no, and I know that you know. Um, I'm aware that Pepsi is. I'm yeah. Aware of, uh, juice if, if these have GMOs, I just want to avoid them. Yeah. So. Not to my understanding. Okay. If they did, we wouldn't be carrying them. Okay. You do carry some, but okay. they're not. It's like extremely rare. Okay. And it's and it's if we do, it's because it's part of. It's a different type of GMO. It's not the ones that you will find in milk or dairy products. But okay. It's nothing okay. with hormones. We don't carry any RDSPs. Okay. So online you can find it at hopeysmarket.com. I don't see the list here. I see our gluten free, but the okay. GMO I do not. Um, do you do you know offhand what those few products are that? No. No. Okay. Because some you hope, some stores carry it and some don't. Oh, okay. It's like, you know, maybe a, a tiny little, uh, like, part of a thing that's in a coffee or something. Okay. It's not like an entire product that can okay. contains them, you know? Okay. It might be one ingredient that has a fraction of it. Okay. So, I don't want to give you any false information. Okay. You know how about that Prop 37 stuff? Whoa, we're just talking about, a, a, talking about that. 
about the GMOs. Yeah. Um, I just want to know if you guys carry any. I don't know if I can say that nothing in here is GMO. Yeah. Because uh, it depends on what your definition of GMO is. It's a grain fed diet. It's not a. So there's no corn? It's not genetic. GMO is genetic. It's just corn. Absolutely not. The, the bottom line for all the food is the no preservatives, no added hormones, no GMOs. Okay. Absolutely. You know, that's for everything. Would, would the, the corn be genetically engineered? No. Even Whole Foods co-CEO John Mackey admitted to the Wall Street Journal, we sell a bunch of junk. He should have added, we sell a bunch of GMO junk. In markets such as Chicago, where there are only a few independent health food stores because Whole Foods drove competitors out of business, the ratio of GMO products is much higher than in LA, where we did our hidden camera sting operation. Whole Foods now has 329 stores. There are 71 stores in California and another 12 in development throughout the state. Whole Foods glorifies their quality standards in their stores and online. We have high standards and our goal is to sell the highest quality products we possibly can. We define quality by evaluating the ingredients, freshness, safety, safety, nutritive value, and appearance of all the products we carry. Whole Foods profits from the false marketing of their GMO products branded as natural. Prop 37 would require products containing GMO ingredients to be barred from using the word natural on their label. A sign at one of their stores states, We have been advocating for GMO labeling for two decades. We always support the right to farm, right to buy non-GMO foods. GMO food crops are abundant in the U.S. and there is no mandatory product labeling. You can avoid GMOs by 1. Going organic, only non-GMO seed is used. 2. Choosing our 365 Everyday Value brand, all made without GMO ingredients. 3. Looking for non-GMO project products as they are third-party verified. We are here to protect your right to know what's in your food and help you make conscious choices. These three executives are responsible for Whole Foods selling GMO foods and not supporting Prop 37. Co-CEOs John Mackey and Walter Robb and the Global VP of Quality Standards, NPR, Margaret Wittenberg. We are certain that the Whole Foods leadership does not want Prop 37 to pass because if they did, they would give money to support it. Mackey, Robb, and Wittenberg are all millionaires and are individually capable of giving $250,000 each to support Prop 37. A portion of the financial success of all three leaders comes from selling large amounts of GE crops. Monsanto, as well as the GE Chemical and Seed Companies, receive money from the sale of GMO products at Whole Foods. We appreciate the work that Whole Foods has done with providing organic and local options. However, for two decades, they have done the absolute minimum to educate consumers and store employees about the escalating crisis with genetic engineering. Whole Foods can single-handedly eradicate GMOs from the health food industry and potentially the U.S. if they, one, collect legally binding affidavits from all of their non-organic suppliers to see if they are using any GMO seeds or ingredients, two, educate and train employees about what products may contain GMOs and have them warn customers, three, stop training employees to say that Whole Foods does not sell any GMOs, four, Educate customers about the dangers of genetically engineered foods and chemicals. We demand labeling of GMO foods because we can't even trust the products sold at a nationally certified organic grocer like Whole Foods. Despite demanding in our films last year that Julia Sabin and Kelly Shea resign from the board of directors at the Organic Trade Association, they have clung on to power. Dean Foods and Smuckers are donating money to oppose Prop 37. Despite the fact that Prop 37 does not affect Dean Foods by requiring the labeling of meat or dairy that eats GMO animal feed, the company is still donating to defeat the measure. Although the OTA has endorsed Proposition 37, our best chance yet to label GMO foods, they have given no money to support it. The reason the OTA has not given money to Prop 37 is because it would upset all the corporate brands and food industry CEOs 
like Tim Smucker, that the OTA is beholden to. <laughs> Kelly Shea and Julia Sabin, despite earning large corporate salaries, have given no money personally to Prop 37. <laughs> this is our most desperate hour. The future of humanity will be controlled by Monsanto. It is time for Whole Foods to stop selling GMO foods that financially benefits Monsanto. Now is the chance for Whole Foods and all the corporate organic food brands to show they care about the future of humanity. Donate to Prop 37 as a business or as an individual. Every donation helps and, more importantly, every vote matters. The world is watching us.